Haulers can spend a lot of time on their cowls getting them so they look just right. I'm certainly not in the just right category when it comes to cowls, but I did take the time to put the dummy engine in this one, or most of it. But even though I left the bottom of the dummy motor off so we could keep the real motor cool, there's a whole lot of dark inside this cowl. This is the hole that we spent a little time on getting it so it's right over the carburetor adjustment screws. But this is what you see when you look inside. If you notice how light the green is around the hole, that's because I got a whole bank of photographic lights on and you still can't see nothing inside there. And yes, I tried shining a flashlight in from every angle I could think of. I could see little flashes of lights in different parts of the cowl, but none were actually needed it. That eagle on the side is pretty much showing you what I'm thinking of doing to this cowl right now. I suppose I could pull the cowl anytime I wanted to adjust the carburetor. And there's the screws that we're trying to get at, but I'm not going to be taking that off all the time. I know somebody's going to whine about this modification adding weight to the plane, so here's how much we're adding. Two tenths of an ounce. If your plane can't haul this around, you really need a bigger motor. This is the three millimeter clear LED that I'm going to put in here, and I'm going to put it off to the side so when I look in a hole I don't just see this LED light. I should mention that while this is a 3mm LED, I used a 5mm bit because there's a ridge on the back of the LED that has to come through the hole also. And in just a little bit, I'm going to show you how we're going to hold this LED in place. The on off button and battery holder will get velcroed to this bulkhead. I have this open between every flight anyway to fuel the plane, so this is a good place to hide this switch. I'm going to mount the LED itself in some shoe goo. This stuff will hold just about anything to anything, plus it stays pretty pliable, so it'll be a little bit of a cushion for that LED bulb. And if I need to replace the bulb, shoe goo is way easier to get out than epoxy. There's nothing real classy about working with shoe goo. You just kind of mush it into the hole, and then carefully shove the LED in there after it, and that secures the LED real well. You do have to wait overnight, though, before you can fly the airplane. Or so they say. If this was at the field, I'd probably be flying it an hour later. I think that position's going to work just fine. You'll notice that the LED looks kind of blue, but that's just how the camera sees it. It's really a clear light. And I have the switch and battery mounted. We're all ready to go flying. But maybe we'll put the cowl on and take a look in there first. I really was a little nervous about how this was going to look, but it looks just fine. Again, that bluish color is just how the camera sees it. Now I can adjust the carburetor on my Warbird if I need to, and other people won't be worried about me stabbing them with the screwdriver. We don't have anything new on the outside of the airplane. We added two-tenths of an ounce of weight to the plane, and the switches are right here if I need them. Now I just dare my carburetor to need adjustments.